So I'm sure you watched. What was your impression of Amanda Knox? Uh, my impression was that this was a young girl who, after four years of being incarcerated for a crime she didn't commit, was sort of letting it out a little bit. Um, you know, people were quick to, to, to criticize her, her reactions, her, you know, her, her, her emoticons, all these different things. But, you know, here's someone who was in a jail for four years as a young teenager, having things happen to her that we wouldn't wish upon our worst enemy. And, and I think you have to understand and put it in perspective when you see her reactions. I mean, this girl, in, in my opinion, and I said this from day one when I, I was there early, um, was stone cold innocent. And you mentioned uh, letting it out. Uh, that's one of the things that she's kind of criticized uh, for is her lack of emotion um, and, and her demeanor, the way in which she carries herself. Do you think that this is just going to be, um, you know, more opportunity for fodder as she's, she was pretty stone cold? Well, <laughs> again, she was pretty stone cold, but not one of us has spent a day in jail for something we didn't do. Imagine spending four years, four formative years, by the way. You know, her life is forever... You, you know, tainted by this. She'll never be the same. She doesn't get those four years back. Um, the fact that she's angry, because I did see anger, you know, in that in that interview, and, and I don't blame her. I mean, could anyone really blame her for being angry, um, for going through this process and, and, and having aspersions cast on her that were baseless? Were there any legal revelations to you? Let me just play you one clip where Amanda Knox talks about drug use. Apparently, you know, a lot of, of marijuana she smoked when she was in Italy. Let's listen to that fight. How high were you? I had smoked a joint with Raphael, and what that did to my memories was it made them less concrete, but it didn't black them out and it didn't change them. You remember with clarity that you did not go out that night. You stayed in the whole night. We stayed in the whole night. Again, what most people were looking for were the, was the body language there, was a look on her face, how she sounded. But were there any legal revelations here, like the pot use? Absolutely not. I mean, this is all known. I mean, you know, to me, the revelations were the, some of the things that happened to her while she was in jail. I mean, to be told falsely that she had AIDS by a doctor, you know, to then create this, this reaction on her part. But, you know, anyone who, who looks at me, and, and I've had this discussion with people, and said, well, she's guilty. We know she's guilty. I asked them just... Intellectually, give me one piece of evidence that, that proves she's guilty. There is not one piece. As a matter of fact, she'd have to be the luckiest human being in the world to have not had one stitch of DNA in that crime scene um, if she were involved. And, and it's just impossible. And she really had nothing to do with this. And